This how to make a hobo stove came straight out of my childhood. My friend and I made one way back when for a camping trip. All you need is an oversized tin can and a church key can opener. Did you know that's what those were called? I did it. Anyway, you're going to use them to make some ventilation holes along the top and the bottom of the tin can. You only need about 8 to 10 holes. I made too many in this and there was too much ventilation. Anyway, light your heat source. It can be some sticks or some coal or you can make one of these buddy burners and I will make a link below this video to the post that I'm making to show how to make a buddy burner. You put your hobo stove over your heat source and let the can heat up and then you use that flat surface on top of the can as a cooking surface. I cut my bacon in half to fit on here and then scrambled one egg and when the bacon was done and on my plate, I put the scrambled egg on the can. Obviously, I went too quickly and it um, spilled a little bit, but um, you, I took one for the team. You can learn from me. <laughs> so you can only cook for one person at a time, but you can put a small skillet on top there. It will take a little longer to heat up. For complete instructions on how to use and how to make a hobo stove, come on over to welcometonanas.com. Hey! Maybe I'll call my friend Lisa and we can have another camping trip using a hobo stove for breakfast. I'm ready for an adventure.